Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. I've got another unboxing video for you. This time it's another Mova Globe. This time, this is one is Saturn. Now Saturn is a big gas giant and got the biggest feature of any planet on in the solar system, which is the rings. Unfortunately, Mova Globe don't do that, but they give you the planet. But let me get down to that in, in a moment. Let me show you the box. You've got a lovely artwork on the top of here with the silver mover motion within. I'm showing the map of the of the world on all four sides. And on the bottom, MG45 Saturn, containing the mover Saturn, three-prong stand and a user manual made in China. Now, I've said before in other videos, they, they do do different stands if you want, but I always stick to the standard one. Product registration card inside there. I haven't actually registered this yet anyway. I've had it a while and I think it might be invalid, but please contact somebody in America. I'm in the UK, I'm not in, in the US, so I can't, well, I should, it should be some sort of product support anyway with me anyway, for being in the UK. User manual, usual stuff. Disclaimer, how to place or find a place for your mobile globe, how to move it, uh, yeah, how to move the globe works, a few suggestions, free to ask questions and warranty statement. And how does it work in a globe floats with an almost friction-free environment? Much like the Earth itself, yes. I think it's a compass. Yeah, it, it does balance itself. It, they're amazing to watch as they're just plodding along. And it's nice to see them and very relaxing to watch. Full warranty on there as well. So nothing on the top, but just usual disclaimer. But right, you get inside the stand, standard disc stand, three holes for your three prongs. Flat on one side, round on the other. I'd suggest putting it that way around so the rounder parts don't scratch your globe. But I can't see this scratching the globe anyway. It's a nice little minimalist but see-through stand so you don't really tell what it... It doesn't detract anything from the globe itself. Also nice polystyrene, plastic polystyrene, so it doesn't squeak when you're opening it up. Now, the only disappointing part about Saturn is there's not that much detail on this. However, there's a lot of rings, but not the rings that we're wanting to see. They're actually belts and bands that go around the planet. You've got your your two hemispheres, you've got your line there where it's been polished out, and there'll be a hole somewhere. There she is. For where she's been filled with oil and then got all the air out. But you see the different levels. I mean, if we go to the side train, I will get this on a different display in a few moments so you can see a side view from this but you do see there's a lot of darkened area reddened area there's a there's a band there that's almost like blue or green around there you see bell after bell and this is just a a churning ball of helium hydrogen night whatever hydrogen. i'm sure i'm completely wrong but it's just bell upon bell upon bell i mean we never saw this until the voyager spacecraft voyager one went past in what was it, 79 80 or something like that and it's absolutely mind-boggling to see a planet which is completely alien to what we see we see land we see water we see sand we see air and and clouds and all sorts this is just gas upon gas there's actually i think somebody mentioned that if you did fly into this you would never be able to get to the core because the wind drag going through the different layers on this would actually slow you down so much that you would never be able to get anywhere in the centre. Plus, the pressure would probably squash you before you get anywhere near anyway. So, anybody wanting to land on this, you ain't got a prayer. Stick to one of the moons. Oh. These, as always, with Mulford lobes, there is like a solar panel inside with a gyroscope 
and they will sit as they are. Like I say, I can't turn this round so you can see the rest of the sides, but we will get onto that in a moment. It does look like a weird eyeball from this angle or other things. But it will just casually spin round under normal light. You can do them with sun with sunlight, but it's advised not to put it in direct sunlight. It might do something with the panels, it might boil the oil inside that this is suspended into. I don't know. Ours are displayed in a glass cabinet with a, a nice LED lighting above the top of them, and it does make these go around quite casually. And it doesn't destroy them. Hence, I've got no air bubbles, there's nothing in the oil that's actually been drained away or evaporated over time. We've had these quite a while now, to be honest. But these are absolutely just fascinating to watch. But as you can see, there ain't much to see on this angle. So what I'm gonna do is get this over there. I've got a setup with a stand and we can see this actually from action from a, from a side angle and get you some more details on Saturn, on the Mover Globe Saturn. There we see Saturn without rings. I could probably put some sort of plastic ring around it, make it look a little bit authentic, but there's no point at all. It's just, these are globes. These are just how the actual planetoid parts are. And it's, there's more detail on this than you give credit for. I mean, see that there, there's a black spot. That is not a defect. There's actually a black spot on Saturn. At the time of these photographs, these were taken. But the the belt levels, there's oranges, yellows, red. I mean, it actually, if you looked hard enough at the top, I think it's actually is it a hexagon, hexagonal polar cap on Saturn. It doesn't seem to have been put on properly, but there are pictures that you can see. There is a shape on the top of Saturn. It's quite weird. This is another massive planet. Get around a lot closer. See the storm patterns. It's not as pronounced as Jupiter, but maybe this is a period of calm, relative calm, shall we say? But that belt you see in there is, is obviously something special. I don't know how it's been powered. Again, there's a line in the middle of there. That's where these have been constructed. Fortunately, nothing can do about that. But at least they've done it along the, the lines of where the belts are. But that black spot does actually annoy me a little bit. It looks too perfect that it's a black spot. Maybe it's a... I don't know what it could be. Maybe it's like a burn where... A comet or an asteroid is hit, and that was the time that they took the, used the photographs from. Maybe it's something more than that. I'm not sure I'm actually focusing in properly on this. Yeah, that's gone out again. Struggling to focus with this up close because there's relatively no detail on this. There's an amazing little. They're amazing globes. These. A lovely world, absolutely lovely world. Casually spinning in a way. I say I did think about putting some sort of maybe plastic, maybe cardboard ring around this, but I think it'd just spoil it. Unless I made it absolutely perfect. And the, the rings on Saturn are so delicate, it's it's just not worth attempting to do. And this is just the planetoid of Saturn. So let me get this back onto the bench and we'll have another another last view of the Mother Globe Saturn, the 4.5 inch Saturn.
And there you go, back on its stand, back on the bench. That's the Moved Lobe Saturn. Hope you enjoyed that. It, it, it's, it, it lacks a lot of detail, but there is so much in Saturn. It's, it's quite an elegant planet. We always thought it was kind of the Voyager pictures were just a, a yellow a yellow ball above maybe sand, maybe whatever. It looked like that sort of colour from the pictures that we saw, well, I, when I saw when I was a kid, but it's a hell of a lot more than that. And to be honest, with the ring system as well, there's actually, somebody's stated that the rings, which, which obviously come round here, will, each one of those is being interrupted by the gravity on Jupiter. So eventually, these rings will either clump into one big moon, which will continue to orbit, or they'll all be pulled in towards Saturn. So you won't actually have, maybe a hundred years, maybe a thousand, maybe a million years, you will not have rings on Saturn. But it's that bigger planet that will probably pull in something else, the gravity will destroy it, and that will then make a different ring as well anyway. But there's so many different theories out there with astronomy that anything could happen, nothing could happen but we won't really be around to see it, unfortunately. So anyway, hope you like that. Please check out the channel. I've got loads of other reviews on of different products, different things I've been repairing, different items, a few of the Moved Lobe stuff as well, if you'd like to check those out. So please like and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. If you're not, I'll hopefully see you in another video. Bye for now.